Hello, this is Brian Lysing with Financial Brokerage, and this week I'd like to share a real simple sales idea, and we're going to steal this idea from uh, every doctor's and dentist's office in the country. So when you go to the doctor or the dentist, what's the last thing you do there before they, they let you out the door? Well, they always want to set the follow-up appointment. They want to know when they're going to see you again. Maybe it's in six months or three months or a year, but they don't let you out the door without setting that follow-up appointment. And on top of that, once you have that set, you know that you're going to get a reminder if, if they're doing their job right. Maybe it's via text or email or a phone call or uh, a postcard in the mail, but a week before that appointment, you're going to get a reminder that the appointment is coming up again. Well, if a doctor's office can do this, why can't you do this with your clients? At the end of every appointment, set the follow-up appointment to review their policy or review their needs. In fact, this reminds me of a conversation I had with a, uh, a producer this week that works with auto and homeowners insurance primarily, and he was talking about the renewal commissions that come from that. Now, if you're selling health insurance or Medicare supplements, you're also getting some renewal commissions, and you don't get that with a life insurance sale. It's all paid up front. Well, the only reason that that's the only commission you get is because you're not setting up those follow-up appointments. The renewal commissions are there. They just don't come automatically. They come because you are proactively setting that follow-up review appointment with your client. Now, I know, you know in today's uh, society, people are busier than ever, and it's really tough to go through a, a person's total financial needs in one session. You're probably not going to get through all of it. So there's plenty of material to cover in that annual review session. Now maybe their needs have changed and you want to discuss uh, additional life insurance or a different type of life insurance, but you should also be having a retirement planning conversation, a long-term care conversation, a disability insurance conversation, a critical illness conversation, and uh, maybe even talking about how social security income might affect all of those other things. So there's plenty of things to talk about in that review appointment. So all you need to do is simply take a cue from your, your doctor's office and set that follow-up appointment at the end of your current one, and it's going to lead to all sorts of renewal commissions for years down the road.